What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Shadows of Valentia. In this episode, we're gonna take on the final dungeon in this game, Thabe's Labyrinth, and this is the hardest challenge this game has to offer. So let's begin. And this dungeon is 10 floors long and there are insanely strong opponents here for you to battle. So this is gonna be my team. You can only carry 10 units like any other dungeon. So of course I'm using Arm and my Arm is at level 19 and uh, he has maxed out his HP which is pretty good. And then I've got my Majoring Celica. She will not be able to use Ragnarok Omega because uh, I do not have Beloved Zofia on her but Majoring is just much better. And then we have got Tobin. And uh, he has got Killer Bow and Leon as well who also has Killer Bow. The reason why I'm not using Python is because of the fact that he's got really bad skill stats. And he is very very inaccurate when it comes to actually killing and hitting. So yeah that's why I prefer using Leon. And then I've got my Faye. And Faye actually has got a new uh, which is a white magic spell which lets you take another action with your units and it's basically like dance or sing from the previous Fire Emblem games and it's really really amazing and that's one of the perks of making Faye into a cleric and no other unit in this game can have access to this white magic so that's really good and she also has Draco shield. Then I've got Shade and uh, Shade is from the Cypher Legends DLC and she is a really good cleric because she's actually pretty bulky compared to other clerics. She has got good defense and good resistance. Her attack is pretty lacking and that can be troublesome because that reduces her silence range. So silence is pretty much worthless on her because of her low attack but freeze can be quite useful actually against red fighters and some mounted units and she's also got physique and rescue just like Faye and that's why I'm using her over Silk or Jenny and then I've got my Matilda at level 16 and she has got Romfia. You can actually get Romfia by forging a Rider's Bane one time and then you can unlock Romfia and pretty much just forge it and the reason why I'm using this is because of the fact that this gives you Dragon Haze skill which is extremely useful because it adds user speed into the attack power so she basically gets 70 plus attack when she uses the skill and it's really amazing because she's pretty fast and uh, then I've got my Cliff and you guys know Cliff is one of my best units in my let's play and I've given him Mage Ring didn't really level him up at all and then I've got my Jesse and Jesse is amazing because he can get a lot of crits with Brave Sword which I've on him and uh, he is also pretty fast so he can double most of the units and then my last unit for this dungeon is gonna be Tatiana. Now Tatiana is really amazing because of Fortify and Warp. She provides really great utility and she can also use Seraphim Magic and she's really bulky on the magical side. I've given her Draco Shield as well because her defense is really bad. And uh, this first Draco Shield I got from Jeddah in Act 4. And then I got my second Draco Shield uh, from the guy in the Regal Village where you have to give him 4 Dragon Skills. So basically I got that Draco Shield from there and uh, to forge Killer Bow you have to forge Silver Bow once and then you can unlock Killer Bow and Killer Bow is amazing because of Hunter's Wally skill. So that is going to be my team and hopefully this helps you guys who are trying to beat uh, this uh, dungeon. So let's begin. This grand husk of a capital once coursed with magic. But it has been forgotten for centuries, neglected, the victim of human folly. Now we disturb its rest. For what? What lies waiting for us deeper in? Alright, so... This dungeon has got a lot of basements. And... We have to go here. You do not want to break any kind of pots because that will alert these enemies and I do not want to battle them because uh, it's a waste of time so I'm just gonna go here and basically for this dungeon it is recommended to bring two bow knights with the killer bow and here we have got these uh, stones which have something written on them in Thebes lived an alchemist named Farnius, much praised for his genius, in time he would be feared by all. 
So basically we can view the story of this alchemist. And here we are on the second basement. There are no enemies here so we can definitely smash these boxes. So I got a yogurt. And silver purse plus I think. Okay, drinking water is pretty useless. Two matters consumed Fornius, and he spent his life in their pursuit. Okay. And here we can actually find a silver sword. Um, oh, there's an Arcanist right there. Oh no, he's gonna battle me. Ah, uh, couldn't dodge him, but that's fine. Because these Arcanists aren't really that powerful. I'll handle this myself. So let's use Hunter's Wally. Hands off. It's definitely an amazing uh, skill, and Leon is gonna get a level up. Brute force alone won't get you anywhere. I'm actually surprised he got a resistance point. Okay, so we can use a new on Leon. And this guy's pretty much worthless, so we can just attack these Arcanists and take them out. Then use Tobin and take out this guy. Okay, he's not gonna die, but that's fine. Um. And we can definitely use Warp and put Matilda here and I'll show you guys Dragon Haze. Look at the 72 attack. That will want to kill a lot of enemies in this dungeon. And then we can basically just rescue back Matilda so that she does not take any kind of damage. You have to play extremely safe with your arm um, and Salika because if they die, you will have to um, do this dungeon all over again. Okay, so it looks like I will not be able to rescue um, Matilda, so let's wait. All right, and let's, go. let's end our turn. Okay, so Matilda is going to get attacked, that's fine. Let's use Hunter's Wally to take out this Arcanist. And then use Tobin to take out this Arcanist. So basically you want to have units uh, around level 15 because you will have to give some respect to this dungeon. It is the hardest dungeon in the game. And most of my units are uh, around level 15 to level 18. The only unit that is level 18 is my arm and uh, Cliff. Those are the only two units who are over level 18. So here, um, okay, there's another, oh my god, this Kantar. Yeah, so you have to watch out, but this is pretty easy. You can easily just kill him. Stand back. Um, I'll handle this myself. Uh, we have to use warp, oh, I think. What do these... Okay, they have Ben and Claws. That's quite annoying. Okay, so we're gonna get a crit and we're gonna kill that Kantar. Which is really good. And then we can just charge with our units. Okay, so now we can easily kill these Terrors. I was actually not paying attention to my bottom screen, so that's why... Um, just leave it to me. I ran into this Kantar, or actually he ran into me. Okay, and I guess we can have Sulika get this kill. And we have to get the Silver Sword. So, uh, let's go here. And we have to go this way. Okay, there's an enemy following me. And we can get the Silver Sword. And that is pretty useful because you can forge Silver Sword into um, Brave Sword. And if you guys do not have the DLC, you can even grind 
in the secret shrine, which is on arm's route. And that dungeon has got a lot of entombed enemy, so that can be pretty useful. And we have to go this way. And pretty much avoid all kinds of enemies. And here we are. The first was how to wake the dead and control them as his army. That's spooky. So let's jump down and let's go to the third basement. And this floor has got a sacred spring. So we have to go here. This is a bit like a puzzle, but not really. As you can see it on the bottom screen. And here we have to go straight ahead and there is a... There is a sacred spring right here and it gives luck and skill. So obviously skill is the better stat and you can also get silver marks by uh, cutting these as you can see. You can definitely get that and then you can re-enter and try to get more silver marks. So yeah, you can easily get silver marks from here and in the later basement um, you can even get gold marks by slashing these grass so who needs skill who misses a lot um, we definitely want to give this to Celica because we do not want her to miss and uh, everyone else has skill over 20 which is really good so I'm gonna use this all on uh, Celica and now we can exit. And we basically have to go here. Uh, there is a gargoyle here. So you can avoid him or you can battle him. It's up to you. Oh, there is another gargoyle. Okay. I am barely dodging him. Because I do not want to make this video like two hours long. That's the thing. This dungeon is super big. The second was the creation of a singular perfect being. So let's descend to the fourth basement. And I'm pretty sure you can also get silver marks from here. Okay, we got absolutely nothing from here. We got absolutely nothing. We senators sent forth messengers to Farnius. None returned. So he probably just killed them and used them as a specimen for his experiments. Okay. So here... There's another secret spring, but you will have to battle uh, this death goil, so you have to sneak past him. And here you can find an attack and speed secret spring. And now I have 300 silver marks. That is actually enough to forge a weapon to the max level. And these enemies will never actually enter the sacred spring. I think there is some kind of energy here which prevents uh, these kinds of monsters from entering. That's probably it. Because I've seen this in many other dungeons as well. So, I want to give attack to Leon. And attack to Jesse. And who needs speed? I'm going to give Tobin speed as well, I think. No, Cliff needs attack. Yeah. I'm gonna give that to Cliff. And Secret Spring has run dry. That fiend is probably waiting for me, I think. Yeah, but he cannot really enter. So let's battle him. 
Okay, so a lot of enemies have come here. And uh, we have to take them on one by one. One by one is the way to go. And... There are a lot of death guiles. These fiends are not really that big of a problem. We can just wait for them. And here we have got these white dragons, which is pretty annoying. But Arm um, can pretty much take care of them. This guy has got silver purse. Okay. These uh, liches have got a lot of defense. So hopefully Leon can crit them. Get double crit. There we go. That's amazing. And uh, I kind of want to wait for these. Just say the word. Kind of want to wait for these other enemies. I could go here and put Jesse here. Because Jesse will be able to outspeed these uh, Death Gods pretty easily and he can get double creds quite nicely as well. And we can put Shade here and we can just rescue Tobin. Okay, not really rescue Tobin, but we can rescue Cliff. And Cliff can attack. Okay, he cannot really attack anyone from here. But he sure can recover Leon. And we can put Arm here. And put Faye here. I guess uh, I have to put Tatiana back. The levels on your clerics do not really matter as long as they have got all of the white magics that they could possibly learn. Okay, yeah, so Johnny Bravo is taking out all kinds of monsters here. And that's why he has got the Bravo Sword. Alright, so a lot of enemies have started to come in and we'll be able to take out all of them here on this turn on this turn let's use uh dragon haze dragon haze takes out this death coil hunter's wally also takes out these units pretty easily there you go they die as well and we got silver purse and then we can use um have to watch it for these and then we can use Seraphim Magic on this uh, Lich, take him out, and then we can use a Scalibur. Or actually, I'm gonna use Dragon Haze on this uh, Death Goyle. My turn. Just watch the damage. 120 damage, that's insane. And now, I um, can take out this Death Goyle, and then um, we can have Jesse kill this one, and then we can have Cliff kill this one. Probably not, but we'll be able to use uh, a new. And then use Hunter's Wally to take him out. Alright, and then we can just use Fortify to recover everyone's Pretty HP. Good. And then we can recover Tatiana's HP. So these three fiends are left, which is not really that big of a deal. We can easily use our magical units to take them out. Seraphim takes out this guy. Then we can use Cliff and attack this one from here with Arrow Magic. And then, um, we can even use Armor Crush, actually. Dragon Haze almost takes them out. Almost. Very, very close. I'm gonna try to take out this Fiend with, uh, my Bow Knights. Okay. Guess then, I'm gonna use Matilda. Okay. So that was a pretty long battle, like, if you enter the Sacred Spring, it's really hard to avoid any kind of battle here. So you can break the pots now because uh, we have pretty much killed all of the enemies. And we can go here. 
and uh, go to another part of this basement and here we can actually get boots a pair of boots okay there is an enemy right there I can see him on the bottom screen so we have to go here there is a spectre enemy and we can go here to get boots you can also get boots from uh, Mila's Bounty DLC, which is free to everyone. So we got boots, and I don't really have any kind of plans of using this on any other unit. Oh my god, I, I absolutely just crashed into this Spectre enemy. These guys have got Devil Axe. And we'll have to wait. Not gonna rush in. You do not have to rush in against these enemies. And, uh... Let's put Matilda here. And Jesse here as well. Alright, so let's wait. I guess I could have used the Dreadfighter loop to make Jesse even more stronger. But I think he's fine. Like, on this level. You want to be very, very careful around these Devil Axe users and just want to take them out from a distance. Yeah. So killer bows are absolutely amazing for this dungeon, as you can see. And then... Uh, Dragon Haze can take out this Cavalier and we're gonna get some silver marks. Alright. And now we can proceed and go to the 5th basement. And go here. Okay, there is an enemy. I'm gonna run from him. And now we can go to the fifth basement. Next, the council dispatched soldiers, still none returned. Okay, so here we are on the 5th basement, and this is pretty much the halfway of the dungeon. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Am I? Am I going the wrong way? I think I am. Uh, no, I can go here, and then I have to go here. And... Here we are. Yeah. Oh, there is a witch. Oh, we have to watch out for her. And we have to escape. Oh my god, this guy is definitely gonna catch me, I feel like. Oh god, so many enemies! I actually didn't want to go here. Uh, will you guys let me go back? Like here? I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I have to go here first. Oh my god. She caught me. Yeah, so many enemies. Uh, these witches are really, really powerful. We have to take out this bone knight. We have to take out the Spoon Knight for sure with Hunter's Wally. Alright, and then uh, the most of my units have got pretty bad resistance. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these Gold Knights are a bit of a problem, but that's fine. We can use Hunter's Wally. To take out this witch and then rescue back to Bin with the uh, Fae. That can be done. That can definitely be done. But I think I should just wait. I should just wait. 
and put Faye in the middle. And who has got bad resistance? You. You have got really bad resistance. So you need to be here. And then we can put Celica here. And we can put Cliff here and wait. So this witch is going to teleport and she's going to be attacking Celica for 15 damage. Oh my god. That's so much. Okay, this witch is also going to teleport and she's going to be attacking Tobin. As long as Celica and Arm do not die, you can use Mila's turn wheel. If they die, it's game over. And you have to pretty much do the whole thing once again. Okay, so we have to take out these gold knights and uh, we also have to take out that witch. Uh, we can use Jesse to take out this gold knight by getting double crits. Feast on this. You ready? Yep. <laughs> His luck and skill stat is so good that he can just get so many crits like crazy. And we have to watch out for these barons. They are a problem now. And... We can take out... This gold knight with Matilda. Straight up one hit KOs a lot of units here. We have to take out this witch. Witches are annoying. They definitely are very, very annoying. Then we can use Aura Magic, or actually uh, Arrow Magic. We can use Excalibur. Hopefully we can get a crit. We're gonna get a crit. And we have to take out this witch. And then we can just use... Ragnarok. We can probably crit him. Okay, we're not gonna get a crit. Um, who needs level up? Who needs level up? I think I can let Arm get the kill. Oh, Arm is also gonna not get the kill. Uh, let's see. I'll use a new on Celica, and then Celica can take out this gold knight. And now. Um, we can use Fortify, better than I thought. and we can use Physique on Tatiana. So only two uh, Barons are left. Let's use Hunter's Wally. Okay, it does not do too much. Uh, pretty sure Matilda can take out this one. Yep, she can just take out <laughs> Barons. Because of that skill. That's insane. That's why Romphia is so good for this dungeon. And you should definitely invest in that. As it will definitely help you in times of need. Okay, so we have to go here to read something. We need to know the full story of this dungeon. This game has got amazing stories, so of course, we have to do this. Okay, we have to view from here. Thus, the council chose to seal Forenius' workshop with him inside it, so they pretty much just wanted to bury this nuisance alive. That would have pissed him off. Okay, no silver marks, not gonna waste any more time here. And we have to go straight ahead, avoiding any kind of enemy. Okay. And here. We can break these pots. Blue cheese, okay. Nobody is interested in that. Um, we have to go here. And face a challenge.
And here, you will have a fire dragon waiting for you. So let's battle him. So these dread fighters are really annoying because they have got shadow sword and brave sword. And that's insane. Stand back. So what you want to do is try to take them out first with Hunter's Wally and then you can just rescue them. Oh my god. Did I just miss that? You've got to be just kidding me. To me. Let's rescue Tobin. Okay. And then what is your rescue range? Okay, it's pretty good. Let's try to take out this uh, Dread Fighter who has got Brave Sword. Yep, Leon is gonna get a crit. And let's rescue Leon back here. Oh my god, he's in the range. That's not good. That is not good. You got it. He can get attacked by this Bow Knight, but uh, he will not get doubled, that's for sure. Let's put Cliff here, let's put Arm here, and let's just use Fortify. I could use Invoke actually, yeah I could have done that, oh god. Could have protected him. Okay, please do not crit my Leon. Because enemies here can crit you. So you're gonna use Fortify. That's fine. Oh, so they didn't attack me. That's really good. That's really good. So we can once again try to take out this Dread Fighter with Tobin. This one's mine. I think he's gonna do it this time. Yep. Never count Tobin out. So, as you can see, the utility of uh, rescue is really good to have. So, we're gonna rescue back Tobin. And now we're gonna take out that Kantar. And then we're gonna rescue uh, Leon back. Uh, what is your rescue range? I will have to use Fortify first. And then, spotlight. let's see, yeah. We'll be able to rescue him. Uh, we can use Hunter's Wally, but he's got Meyer Tome. Um, uh, should I do this? That's the question. Or should I just wait? This fire dragon is the boss. Um, I think I will have to take the risk. If I do not crit him, then... It is what it is. I'll have to use Miller's turn wheel. But the chances are in my favor, so I think I'll be able to get this. Yep, the chances are in my favor. So, yeah. So all of those terrors also pretty much just vanished. And then we can rescue back Leon. And this is a very safe playstyle, which you can... Um, use so the specter enemy has got silver lance we can definitely put Matilda in the range of this enemy because Matilda is just awesome okay yeah he's gonna get critted and these barons have started to move as well uh, this bone knight is just not moving. Let's try to take out these barons with our bone knights. Okay, I'm gonna fail horribly with that. Um, so let's use uh, fire magic. Take them out. And then we can use cliff. We can put arm here. And I can use cliff. And use arrow magic. Gorgeous. And hey, looking good. now I can just use Physique on Tatiana because Fortify does take a lot of HP. 
So I'm playing extremely safe here, as you can see, not taking any kind of risks, because I do not want to lose any kind of unit here. So let's use uh, Leon and Hunter's Wally. So this uh, Priestess is also gone, and that means we only have to take care of uh, this Bone Knight and this Dragon. So let's rescue Leon back. Let's rescue him back. Here he is, and then uh, I guess we can try to attack this Fire Dragon. Yeah, we can try to do that. And then rescue Tobin back. Uh... Yeah, we could do that. Oh wow, Tobin is gonna get a crit. That's amazing. And let's rescue Tobin back. That's why it is recommended to bring some clerics with you so that you can do this warp and rescue cheese. Not even warp, just rescue. So finally this Bow Knight has decided to move and Jesse is gonna devour him. If he reaches actually. But we can use arrow magic. Yeah, that can be done from here. Okay, Cliff got really low. And then um, Tobin can finish off this uh, dragon. Alright, so Tobin took out that fire dragon all alone. And that's amazing. <laughs> we really took it to him. So we pretty much beat the boss, which we find in the halfway of the dungeon. The seal they used was made to last until the city crumbled to sand. Yes, we're gonna take this shield. And we got Sage's shield, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna give that to Shade. So, let's uh, go to shield and... I got a lot of Emperor shields from uh, Inner Sanctum. And now she's got the Sage's shield, which also gives her Pavis, I think. I think it does give her Pavis eventually. So it gives her plus 5 defense and plus 5 resistance, which is really good. And now we can go to the 6th floor. Here lies the sealed workshop of the demon alchemist Fornius. So let's jump. As you can see, the environment of this uh, basement is pretty different. So here we have got two sacred springs. One gives defense and one gives HP. HP is not really that big of a deal as most units can max out their HP pretty easily. So we can use uh, uh, the defense one. And we can give defense to uh, Celica. Matilda will also enjoy the defense and Jesse will definitely enjoy that so we can give that to Jesse as uh, He's gonna be our main frontline unit with Matilda and then we can give the remaining one to Celica All right, so let's proceed and Let's go We can find blessed bow here There are some really strong enemies from here on. Okay, so there is a villager. All of these are villagers. All of these are just dead people. 
So we can go here to get uh, a Bless Bow. And you can forge Bless Bow into Parthia, which is a Regalia weapon. So we got this Bless Bow. This is our second Bless Bow. And now we can go and uh, proceed. Now that we have got this item from here. So we have to be very careful. These villagers are really, really strong. Okay. And let's read this. The critical component in the death mask is a particular shelled insect. So let's descend. And here we are on the seventh basement. So we want to go back here, I think. And we can go here. And here we can get a gold purse, which is really good. And let's go back. And let's go here. Um, there are probably enemies. Oh my god, there is a villager. Okay, yeah. So they're gonna attack me. Only two of them, which is fine, but these units are pretty strong and they have got a lot of HP, but we're gonna use Hunter's Wally, which is pretty broken in itself. This is the part that hurts. Yep, 57 damage, gone. Okay, so now we can use Romphia. And Dragon Haze. Okay, so we do not actually want to KO these units, but I'm pretty sure. We need to get a crit or something. Get lost. Bow Knights are absolutely amazing here. So sorry. I got lucky that I only had to face two villagers. Because sometimes it can be really overwhelming for you. Uh, so let's go here. Uh, there is an enemy. Oh my god. So many enemies. Okay. I barely escaped them. And here we can read something. I have come to call these marvels of nature Thanatophages. Okay. I think there are enemies here. So we're gonna get Silver Purse. Okay, so there are no enemies here. Which is pretty good. And we're gonna get another Silver Purse. So this dungeon is really good for grinding for Silver Marks and Gold Marks. And now we have to go straight up ahead. Yeah, avoiding these enemies. And here we have to go this way, I think, yeah. Oh my god, there are so many enemies here. Okay, I have to go from here. Alright, that's good. Sometimes there will be so many enemies on a floor that it will become hard for you to dodge them all. Placed on a cadaver, 
Thanatophages set down roots and assert control. So Thanatophages are the name of these insects and these are some pretty scary insects. So the mask you see is actually an insect on these dead villagers that we have faced so far. It's pretty crazy. So let's jump and let's go to the earth basement. Oh my god, no! There are just so many enemies here. We have to run away from them. Cannot let them gang up on us like that. Uh, we have to go here. Yes, I barely avoided that villager. That was close. That was really close. Okay, so basically from here, I have to go up ahead and... To go this way, there are some enemies here, probably. Oh, no enemies? Wow. I was expecting a gang of dead villagers. Oh, there is an enemy. Uh, let's wait for them to go. Let's wait for them to go. Please do not attack us. Wow. They are very close. They always miss me by like one inch. These are like extremely close calls. At last, blood from the divine dragon, its power is terrifying, beautiful. Here we are on the ninth basement. And here you can find a lot of uh, gold marks from the Sacred Springs. The Senate has granted me all I need to craft life anew. I have succeeded. I do not like the sound of this. So you can actually find uh, three items here and they can be the legendary weapons Astra, Soul and Luna which are very rare to find. So it's all up on your luck. And here we can actually find a rusted Draco shield, which is pretty good. Okay, there is an enemy right there. So I'm gonna dodge that enemy. Oh my god, there was another enemy. I think that was a lich, yeah. And we can go here to get a rusted Draco shield. And you can even uh, forge rest of shields into Draco shields and it's gonna take you like one uh, gold mark so it's a very cheap investment I think. And uh, you have to go here. Yeah avoiding all of these liches and here we can find uh, Embryosa, I think. Yeah, we can find Embryosa here. Uh... Wow, okay. So this guy attacked us, these liches. I can definitely try to attack them with Tobin and take them out. Alright. And then I can just rescue Tobin back. I can just rescue him back. Like this. And then we can attack you with Leon. But Leon will not be able to reach there. So we'll have to use Tatiana. And her warp. So as you guys saw, I avoided a lot of these enemies. 
this video would have been so long if I actually faced each and every one of them, and they are insanely strong as well. Excuse me? So we're gonna kill this Lich with Leon, and he's gonna get a level up. Luck and defense, that's fine. And... We can rescue him back. On the healing tile. And we can proceed. You do not want to use Om and Celica as your frontline units. A lot of people just put Om um, uh, like on the front lines because of his amazing defense, speed, and attack. But he can really easily get overwhelmed and then die. So, yeah. You do not have to do that. And we can just use uh, Celica and Seraphim Magic to kill these units. Okay, so this guy's not gonna die. But... Jesse's gonna kill him. What do you think of this? With a crit. Wait for me and you definitely have to bring some strong units and some max forged weapon. Because like I said, you have to give some respect to this uh, dungeon. And there we go. And we can finish him off with uh, Matilda. With Dragon Haze. And Matilda is also going to get a very well-deserved level up. Wow, that was amazing. Alright. And here we can get Embryosa, so let's get that. Let's break these pots, because we have killed the enemy. And if you make any kind of... Oh my god, this Lich is back here. There was another one of them. That's scary. Okay, let's go here and get the Embryosa. So we got that, and now we can proceed and avoid these Liches. Um, I can see that enemy on my bottom screen, so I'll have to be very careful. Oh my god, there is another one here. Some of these enemies actually run very fast, like deceptively fast. Okay, and here we are. There is actually a secret spring here. As you can see. And there is a fire dragon, so yeah. That's a nice present for you. A lot of dragons. These water dragons, these fire dragons, these liches. So yeah, we'll have to be careful. Let's uh, snipe these... Uh, Dragons from here by using arrow magic. Uh, we could definitely crit you with the uh, with cliff with arrow magic. Okay, so no crits. That's fine. And Matilda can definitely take out this. Yeah, in a single hit. That's crazy. We have to watch it for these fire dragons. They are insane. Like, look at their defense stat. It's 31. It's 31. It's too much. Too much. So let's take you out with Leon. And then we can attack this watcher dragon from here. And use a new... Yeah, we can do that. Okay. And now I use a new. And I take you out. Oh my god, he's gonna miss the crits. Come on, dude. Okay. So let's rescue him back. Not want him to be in the range of uh, those dragons. Let's go. Uh, I guess I can put Jesse here 
in the range of this dragon, but he's going to be using his breath attack instead. So it's not like Jesse will be able to um, attack him back. But still, we can put him here and uh, we can use uh, Fortify. Heal up everyone. We can put Arm here and Salika here. And wait. Okay, so these white dragons are on the move. And let's take them out. Let's hunt them down. Let's use Hunter's Wally. And this guy's weakened, which means that we can just use uh, Selica to kill him. Let's use Ragnarok. Actually, which is more accurate? Excalibur is accurate, so let's do that. And uh, we can attack this dragon from here. Is there any need for Hunter's Wally? I do not think so. Uh, we can attack you from here. Excuse me. Okay. Did quite a lot of damage, and we can just uh, use Arm and take out this dragon in a single hit. That attack animation looks cool, no matter how many times you have looked at it. And here we can use fire magic to take out this dragon. Now only fire dragons are left. And these liches. These liches can use fire magic. So that can be pretty annoying. Let's use fortify. To heal up everyone, and then we can heal up uh, Tatiana. Alright, and then we can just put Matilda here. Wait. Okay, so these liches are on the move. And uh, we can definitely take them out with Seraphim Magic. If we get lucky, that is... Okay, I'm not gonna get lucky. Unfortunately. I'll use... Leon to kill this lich Keep from here. Going. And then I'll use Tobin to attack this lich from here. They've got high defense. Yeah, so that's not really gonna do anything. And... We can warp Faye over here. And then we can just put Jesse here and use a new on Celica and then use Seraphim Magic on this lich to take him out. And now only five dragons are left. Only five dragons are left. Alright, so let's use Physique on Faye. And let's wait. So they're not moving. Um, can Matilda actually want to KO? This, okay, very close. Very close, but she could do it. She could do it if she gets a crit, and there are high chances of that. So let's see if Matilda can take out this dragon in a single hit. A yep, she's gonna do that. 120 damage. Absolutely chance. annihilated. Blown into another dimension. Alright, so let's rescue Matilda back. She did a really great job. And then we can attack this... Uh, Fire Dragon, and then rescue back uh, Leon. So let's use Hunter's Wally, and maybe we'll get a lot of crits. Okay. I mean, I would have got 36 damage at max if I got two crits, which is fine. Um, I didn't get that, so let's rescue Leon back. And even if I get two crits, I will not be able to take out that uh, fire dragon, so it's not really worth it. Now let's wait here and let's use fortify once again. You're better than I thought. 
Okay, so now these dragons are gonna start to move. And Matilda can definitely take out this fire dragon in a single hit. And then um, Arm can surely take out this dragon with some help. So let's use Hunter's Wally to weaken down this dragon. Let's use Tobin, weaken him down. And now we take out this dragon with the uh, Arm. Arm is not gonna miss. Yeah, so there we go. And now we can use these uh, Sacred Springs. This Sacred Spring gives you speed and resistance, and it only has two uses. So you're of course gonna be using speed because it's the important stat compared to uh, resistance. Well, I guess you can use resistance because everyone in this game has got really bad resistance growth rates. So you could do that, but I don't know. I like speed more. Um, definitely gonna be giving speed to Tobin, who has been killing dragons left and right. And we can give speed to Matilda, but that's not really gonna help her. Uh, I'm gonna use resistance now, I think, on Leon. Leon has got really bad resistance, okay. And here, we can actually get gold marks. There is one in six chance of getting a gold mark by cutting the grass here. So basically, you have to pull a link and uh, you have to cut all of this grass. Try to get gold mark. Come on. Am I gonna get anything? Okay, silver mark. Okay, nothing so far. Silver mark. And... Uh, anything here? Nope. So, yeah, I didn't really get any kind of gold mark from here, which is a bummer. I think I cut all grass. Yeah, nothing here. So I didn't really get anything. Oh, there is a... Oh my god, are you kidding me? You have got me cornered. Okay, let's run away. There were three enemies. Wow. That was insane. And here we are on the 10th floor. The final floor of this dungeon. At first, it was a tiny thing, but on day 80, I gave it my blood, it grew. Sounds pretty nasty, if you ask me. So let's go to the lower level. And, uh... Here we are, the 10th basement of this dungeon. It has been a good run so far, actually, but I think I'm gonna end it here because we're gonna be facing a secret boss in the next episode and we're gonna be completing this game on the hard classic mode. So if you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like and if you have any kind of questions or if you want any kind of help beating this dungeon, let me know in the comment section down below. I have given several tips all throughout this video, like what kind of units you need to bring, what kind of weapons you need to bring, and where you can grind and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.